Hey church, this past Sunday, we uh, dove back into our Kingdom Family series through the book of Ephesians. Uh, specifically, we looked at the verse where Paul exhorts the church to sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves and make music to the Lord in your hearts. Um, we looked at how uh, singing actually synchronizes our hearts both to God and to one another. There's this spiritual synchronicity that happens when we actually gather and sing with one another and to one another. Also, when we sing, uh, worship uh, kind of forces us to have our emotions be dealt with. Uh, music has the power to lead our emotions to a place of truth and understanding of the character and the nature of God. And when we sing lyrics, when we sing uh, worship songs, it requires us to bring um, our emotions under the submission of, of God and His, uh, and His sovereignty. And that helps us to, uh, to reach a place of truth. We also looked at the way that uh, worship unifies uh, the family of God. Um, specifically, in the same way that uh, you'd sing a national anthem before a game, so too does worship kind of, um, it uh, creates unity around who we are as citizens of heaven. Uh, Jesus did this at the Last Supper after he had broken the bread and uh, served communion to his disciples. It says, and when they had sung a hymn, they went to the Mount of Olives. So what Jesus did in that moment was he codified the unity of the disciples uh, by singing a song together. And the last thing that we looked at was uh, the fact that singing together is a supernatural resonance of God's glory in the earth. Just like a guitar creates, uh, the strings of a guitar create resonance that is beautiful, uh, so too are our lives like strings on a guitar. And when God shows up in worship, it's like He's strumming His instrument and our hearts, our mouths, our bodies resound with a wonderful sound that when, uh, when we are played together with our other strings, it creates this beautiful sound that can't be replicated anywhere else. Um, and so uh, the encouragement here is to participate. The encouragement here is to not keep silent, to use your voice, to use the song that's in your heart as a testimony to the glory of God. That when you're with other Christians, when you're with other believers, whether it's at the beach or on the streets or in a living room or in a sanctuary, uh, we use our song, we use our voices to create this wonderful testimony this beautiful uh, sound that declares the goodness and the wonder and, uh, and the glory of God in the earth. So uh, this week, just encourage you to, to go out, to live your life with a song in your heart, to like live your life with a song in your heart, to think about the things of God this week, to sing out things, whether it's in your car maybe, car's always a safe spot to sing. Like just sing to the Lord this week. That's my encouragement and my challenge to you. Wherever you're at, sing to the Lord. God bless you, church.